good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a look at some fairly ridiculous deals that are coming around for the Pokemon trading card game. I've told you, lovely ladies and gentlemen, that when I get a chance to share this stuff with you, I will. So I thought it might be time to have a little bit of a gander today, and we have got some stuff that if you're lucky... You can take advantage of and have an awful lot of fun. Now we need to give a shout out to Jake over on Twitter, Jake One Ender, who has tweeted out this image to Pokemon Deals TCG, which is where I found it. Check your local Walmart, and what do we see when we check our local Walmart? Ten dollar Crown Zenith tins. This is awesome. Uh, also, maybe evolving skies in stock. We'll get to that in a moment. But for the moment, for time being, just to start off here, ten dollar crown Zenith tins, and this is good. Like these are clearly good. These are clearly worth a lot more than ten dollars. I think that's fair to say. So yeah, this is kind of amazing, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. And it might be time to check your local Walmart and go and have a little bit of a gander here. Because you're going to be able to get some, well, this, this is kind of a bargain, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of a bargain. Now, it is worth noting that there are actually two different versions of the Crown Zenith tins. There are the portrait and the landscape. It is the portrait that are being sold here. I believe this is the four-pack version rather than the five-pack version. Uh, generally speaking, the landscape ones generally tend to have five packs and the portrait have four. I don't think this is a big deal, to be clear, because four packs and a promo for $10 is still absolutely ridiculous. But just to kind of bear in mind that actually, yeah, this is the slightly cheaper version of it. But again, you should still be looking at minimum $20 for this. This is absolutely awesome. One thing which I did find extremely surprising, because this is not the way it usually goes, we actually had these in the UK. We had both of them in the UK. Usually, the landscape bigger tins are for North America, and the portrait smaller tins with one fewer pack, they tend to be for Europe. It's interesting that we got both, and then apparently, because this is an image from the US, the US got both as well. And look, $10 for this is absolutely ridiculous. It's, you know, the, the packs, the way Crown Zenith generally works is if you can get products that are $5 a pack, you've done pretty well. That's the kind of best case scenario for Crown Zenith. The better products were $5 a pack. You know, like $20, four packs and a promo, or the pin collections were $15 with three packs of promo and a pin. That's generally the way it works. With Crown Zenith, if you could get $5 a pack, you were doing pretty well. This is half that. And for what it's worth, you get yourself the promo as well. We'll have a look at the promos in a minute. This is awesome, ladies and gentlemen, and we should be absolutely delighted. But there is something else that does need to be borne in mind about this. And that is, this is probably going to keep carrying on. Like, this is probably going to keep going. Yeah, sure, they're $10 in Walmart, and that is exceptionally cheap. No argument there. But it does mean that you're probably going to see a bunch of other shops now that are taking the lead. There are a bunch of stores in the UK right now selling these for 18 quid rather than 20 and all right, fine, that's two pounds off, that's 10%. It's not exactly huge, but it's still 10% off. And bearing in mind this is a special set, we've had special sets of the Pokemon TCG before, and I believe it's fair to say we were not getting 10% off on them quite so quickly. Remember, Crown Zenith, we have just and I mean in the past few days, had the release of the last Crown Zenith products. They are the Zashin and Zamazenta shiny collections. Yeah, that's what they're called. They're literally called shiny collections. So, you know, they are the last ones. They are the two final Crown Zenith products. And they've just released this, you know, past couple of weeks, last week or two. So Crown Zenith is still very much a recent set. To be able to get this at such a bargain already is kind of awesome. And remember, Crown Zenith is the set that has better pull rates than your average set. You've got that big gallery of awesome cards 
which is kind of amazing. You know, you've got stuff like, well, the Cynthia is kind of cool. I love the Hasuian Samurai on a personal level. Gold cards like Arceus. We've got that Pikachu. And then even in the main set, we've got stuff like the Friends in Asui and Friends in Sinnoh. It's a very, very cool set. Oh, and that Pikachu, which is really expensive in Japan and really not that expensive over here. It is a very, very cool set. So being able to get these for $10 is kind of ridiculous. It is also worth pointing out that there are three different promos available here. Uh, for anyone that's wondering, at least up till now, you know, proven to be the best one of them is the Galarian Moltres, still used as a counter against decks like Mew and Gardevoir. So, you know, it's a pretty cool card, frankly. If you're looking for a fancy version of it, this might be a nice way to get a fancy version of it. Just putting that one out there. So look, go check your local Walmart. If you see these for $10, that's amazing. But the point of this isn't just their $10 in Walmart right now run. Although, go and check your local Walmart, obviously. The point is also, if Walmart is starting to put them down to $10, what usually happens, and I can't guarantee, obviously, but what generally happens here is that other stores start following, and we are going to see discounts on more of these, because uh, this was in the first wave of Crown Zena. No, it wasn't even in the first wave. These only came out in March. These are two months old. Not even that. I don't know. You're probably going to see some other Crown Zena stuff getting cheap. When that happens, you know I'm going to be here to help you out. But the other thing that was mentioned there was Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Boxes. Now, about 20 in this particular Walmart, and look, but by this point, I'm going to be honest with you, they're, they're probably gone. I don't mean to be rude, there is a decent chance they're no longer available in this particular Walmart. Assuming they brought them all out from the back, and assuming there wasn't a restock. And actually, we've started making a bunch of assumptions here... And maybe we should kind of dial it back a little bit. Because the point I have made about Evolving Skies on a number of occasions at this point. Evolving Skies is not that old. Like it's not a hugely recent set, don't get me wrong. But Evolving Skies was Sword and Shield 7. We're on to Scarlet and Violet 1. Which is 6 sets later. Which is not a huge amount. Four sets a year, do the maths, that makes Evolving Skies, well, not two years old at this stage, put it that way. We've had some sets move release dates like Scarlet and Violet, but it came out in August 2021, the end of August 2021, right at the end. So you're talking about a set which is not yet two years old, we are gonna keep seeing Evolving Skies popping up here and there. And I'm not here to tell you that it's gonna pop up absolutely everywhere, that's not the point, but... This is not going to be that unusual. Now, don't get me wrong. This is the best of the Sword and Shield sets. I don't think that's a controversial statement. Maybe we don't find 20 Elite Trainer Boxes and buy them all and try and sell them on for profit. Maybe it's just me. I just don't think that's a cool thing to do. But my point is, these are going to keep popping up here and there. And I am not saying that your local game store tomorrow is going to have, you know, just piled high of Evolving Skies. That's not the point. The point is, Walmart have clearly had a restock of Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Boxes. And it's not going to be just one Walmart. There is absolutely no chance whatsoever one random Walmart had a restock. Now, there is a tiny, 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 tiny chance that there were, you know, like a box out the back of one Walmart that somebody found and put out. That could actually have happened. It could be that there was one box in one Walmart that just happened to have been forgotten and then found months later and put out and it happened to be the one where somebody would have seen it and tweeted about it. There is a chance that happened, but come on, ladies and gentlemen. Does anybody think that's actually realistic? Far more likely, Evolving Skies is still trickling out here and there. And it's not going to be huge. But look, trying to pick up an Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box right now is um not a terribly easy task. So if you find one, go and have a look. And go and check your local Walmart and keep your eyes open. I am not claiming that you're going to find them everywhere. But they are very clearly still out there. And for those that don't know, you know, the whole point of Evolving Skies. And I don't quite know how this happened. 
but essentially it ended up being the EV set with all the alternate art EVs, like the Umbreon, and my personal favourite, the Leafeon. But then it also had other ridiculous cards like Rayquaza in, just in case they didn't have enough cool stuff elsewhere. And it has just become this set. Yeah, like I say, in terms of Sword and Shield sets, I do believe it's fair to say the very bust among them. Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. Have you checked your local Walmart? Were you successful? Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join the Discord, all kinds of fun things. And of course, get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Mary Sanders Lazenby, who's been a supporter of ours for a while and is a very lovely person. So, you know, shout out to them for all the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.